What's happening? How you guys? How's everybody doing? Mets are too too lost out. 69 Mets. I'm a Phillies guy. Now. <laughs> hey, I want to ask you about uh, Tyler Steen. Big night tonight, right? There you go. That's why Tyler Steen, what? Uh, just hit, we, we've seen him, some positional versatility from him. Guard tackle. What have you seen from him? Uh, yeah, it's overall. still it's so early right now. Uh, that's the great part of this whole thing. We lost some good players last year that were here. So to be able to hear, you know, to find out the uh, 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 position uh, swing value of a player, um, to be able to do things uh, now early before the stuff really starts, is extremely valuable. You cannot wait. You know how we've done it around here. We we don't wait for that. We build our depth, we get our people where we need to have them, and then if something were to occur, we're way, way ahead. We're one step ahead of it. So uh, you saw today, you saw the, uh, you, you know, you saw Steen play guard, you saw him play left tackle, you saw Cam play center, you saw him play right guard. Um, that's going to happen. Uh, and then as we get on, as we go on and we start getting closer, then we'll hone in a little bit more on the, that stuff. I think he's uh, he's done well. You know, he's uh, uh, it's all new for him, and uh, he's going to have to. I, I really want to see him. I want to see the consistency. And again, it's very early. We're still watching. Uh, we're still coaching. We're still um, uh, evaluating. And uh, I, I like what he's doing. I really do. I think he's doing a good job. But uh, he's got to stay consistent, and it's got to be every day. Yeah, he played a little guard. As you saw today, he played a little bit of guard. He played right tackle. He played a little left tackle. And we're trying to figure this all out right now. So, uh, I, you know, to have a swing value, that's what you have. If you're not a starting player right now, you have to have swing value. Or you won't be one of the eight players that we take to the game. Cam, he, he has a, a different skill set maybe than, than you might have had at that position if, if it is him at right guard. Does that change what you can do? Does it give you more options in terms well, of Well, we, we do what we do, and that position has a, 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 some – there's there's things that we look for. I call them critical factors. You guys know that. And so uh, what I will say to your question uh, is, like – I know he was strong, but I didn't know he was this, because this, you don't see it when you're playing center. You're sometimes uncovered. Now he's covered. Uh, I'm impressed uh, with the power and the strength of Cam. Very, very strong in here, core. You said before, um, in turn, when you've had position battles, is it? So time out. Time out. I know one thing. I know we talked about, you know, big Brooks and guys like that, big Brooks. But one thing you don't realize about Brandon Brooks, he's, he's got tremendous feet. He's a great athlete, quick, foot and body quickness. And Cam has that. You know he has that. Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, one, one thing you've said before when you're trying to find a starter is you want to find a guy who, who moves like everybody else. You want everybody to move the same. How is that coming along for Cam? Really good. That's the great part of it. That's what's making this very interesting. I'm very happy with what he's doing. But I'm not, you know, I'm not wanting to throw sugar all over the place. I want to make sure that... You know, we got a lot of work to do still, and, um, you know. I coached him in 13, 14, I think. At 50. He played. He played guard and he played tackle. Uh, he's a little lighter than he was, I think. I think he took care of himself. I think he's really, uh, you know, uh, Nutritionally, I think he's done a, a great job taking care of his body, um, and that's what I'm trying to find out, Jeff, right now, is to what, like, where does he fit? How well does he move his feet? Uh, you know, can he block the edge as a tackle? Is he a better right tackle or a left tackle? And I can't answer all these things now. We just started, really. Very valuable. It's the same. That's why, yeah, I mean, very valuable. Well, Cam's a very smart player. 
He's an intelligent player. He asks great questions in meetings, and he conceptualizes uh, concepts very well when I teach them. If something doesn't make sense to him or he's not sure, he's not one of the players that is will be hesitant to say, hey, coach, wait a second. A lot of players are afraid to ask because they don't want you to look at him like, hey, he doesn't know what he's – Cam doesn't care. He's pretty confident. He, not pretty. This guy is really confident. Trust me. He's very confident, not only in his knowledge, but his ability to play. So. Repeat the question, please. How much can you, like, uh, we always like, have the pace so that, you know, it looks different or something different so that you guys are ahead of the step ahead of the Stop. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, our most frequent concept here, well, whatever. So sometimes you can use that information uh, to your advantage. So you say, well, all I know you're running the play that day. And then we run some screen or we run something that would be uh, detrimental to their counter for, for at play. So we do that. That's our off-season projects. That's what Nick has us do. That's not, that's, that's what we do. Uh, and then we can run concepts out of multiple different formations or motions or shifts uh, to disguise what you're saying. But um, when you get really good at something, it's hard to stop. Show me you can stop it first. Yeah. Who, Brett? Yeah, he played tackle guard. He played a lot of tackle, too, uh, uh, when he first came here. Um, I think that when he played in that last Dallas game, he, he got injured in, uh, that, at half of that game. He played. We had him at center, and I, at that point I said, you know what? This is the this is the player's position. This is where he fits. This is where I think he has the most value. And he played really well in that game. And he was injured. He's just obviously back now for the first time. And um, it, we're still working to get through some of these things. But um, you know, again, do I think he can play other positions? Yes, I do. I do. To Jeff's question about the, the scheme, uh, Jason said it was sort of notable how much time Brian Johnson's been spending in the offensive line room. What's been the beginning of your relationship like uh, as he takes on this new role? Well, he, he was the quarterback's coach here. So he and I obviously have a really, I mean, I, 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 you know, we, we, we have to talk through protections and, and, and schemes and how we're making signals and all those types of things. So it started there, you know what I mean, when Shane was the coordinator. And now it's carried over to the coordinator deal. And when you're the quarterback, when you play quarterback, you coach quarterback, you really don't dabble in that blocking technique scheme. I give him a lot of credit because he wants to be in there and hear what we're saying and how we're saying it. And, and um, yeah, did I answer your question? Uh, it's, it seems like with the athleticism you guys have up front, you should be a really good screen team. It's not something you've done a lot of, but do you feel like without giving away strategic stuff do you feel like this could be a really good screen offensive line? I think we've always been a good screen team I think you, you say you haven't done a lot of it but when we have done it how has it been I mean I have lots of when we do installations we have I, I have a, a golden locker I call it and it's the best of the best of the best to teach and then I have a couple things that you shouldn't do okay and so we have all these screens from way back when Selleck was running tight end screens and and LaShawn McCoy, and I got all these things to teach these young players. And so we've run screens. We've done very well with them when we've called them, but they're very deep. The, the, a screen is a very interesting play because the minute a defender sniffs a screen, it's over. The minute they sniff a screen, the play's over. So we can't give them any anything that will show a screen. So it's really hard, very important to be uh, showing the protection and not giving it away. And then you get out in space. We have the players to get out in space. Okay? Last one for Stout. Stout, Stout. 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 He used his hands really well. He was able to move laterally and, and, and get into the combination blocks and surface those blocks. 
I don't think he's there yet. We still have have to work through some things to get him back to that spot that he was at, but that's what we're here for. That's camp. You okay after that one play? It looked like you got a little banged up on that slant there. Sure did. I'll, I'll be all right, though. Yeah. Uh, I, feel, I feel good. Like, I um, think just keep going and keep trying to improve each day is, is the goal for me. And, uh, you know, just trying to get more com more comfortable in the offense and learning the, the, the ins and outs of it. So, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get better each day. But, but it's coming. I can't hear you. <laughs> Uh, just the scheme, like it's just a different scheme, and uh, obviously like some some similarities with past offenses that I've been in. But uh, you know, the biggest thing is just terminology and making sure I'm speaking the same language as everybody else on the on the team and on the offense. So uh, you know, th that comes with time and with reps and just just being in the system. And uh, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to get to it every day and become more comfortable with that every every day. Uh, it's a it's a special special moment, man, and it's a beautiful opportunity for for both for the both of us. And uh, it's something that we're not taking lightly because we know you know we know what the task at hand is, and uh, you know. But we have to start each day by just trying to get better each day. So um, you know we're just focusing on that, but also just obviously acknowledging the, the opportunity that we have. You know, while it is a one day at a time, did you ever envision yourself back in your plan? Yeah, I think I think uh, you know me and Dre played in uh, two state championships together, and we won both of them. And uh, you know, during those those practice weeks leading up to the state championships, we would come and practice in the indoor at at Novacare. So, you know, you kind of just have visions of that. It's like, dang, one day, like I want to actually be practicing here, and uh, you know, that kind of just like came to fruition all all together at, at one moment for for the both of us. So. Like I said, it's just a beautiful, special moment for, for us. Uh, McCoy, Sean McCoy. Uh, we, I mean, me and Dre were both running backs, so like, uh, you know, we just I, I looked up to Sean McCoy and just how special he was as a as a ball carrier and how much he could do with the ball and just make plays. So uh, that was definitely one person I looked up to for sure. I don't think it's a, a competition against him. Like we're competing with each other. You know, we're on the same team. We're, you know, we're building together to to win. And I think, you know, I'm not on social media a lot, but people send me stuff and things like that. But I'm not competing against him. Competing with him. As long I'm competing with everybody else on the team to reach this one common goal. And uh, I think that's that's the perception that I have. And it may be different for other people, but the reality of it is that's the reality of the situation. You know, just feeding off of each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, just lifting each other up. Like I said, we're competing with each other to win, and that's that's the main goal here is to win. So. Your average depth of target last year was it was pretty long for someone who's typically considered a slot. That reputation doesn't show your three players. Could you say the last part again? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said um, before, like I'm, I'm confident in what I can do. I know, you know, I have things to work on myself, but overall, I'm just trying to be a complete receiver. You know, um, you know, I guess statistically or physically, you may you may look at me as a slot receiver, but like I said, I want to be a complete receiver. I, I want to play every position, and that, that's what I know I can do. And like I said, I have things that I, that I need to work on, but uh, I have all the utmost confidence in myself to to get those things done. Great leader, uh, goes to work every day. Like everything that you kind of see and people tell you about is what who he is, you know, and that's who he is every day. Uh, man, they're, they're special, special talents, uh, special mindsets, and uh, they're like I said, they're just special, man. They're very special. Do you still have family in the area? And if have they been able to come out and watch you practice? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, mainly just my mom, more so friends. Uh, 
obviously my, my high school was just here uh, yesterday, so there, there's going to be more people coming out in later dates, but not, not too many so far. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, just getting a chance to learn, learn and be around the guys and, and learn some, some stuff from them. Uh, and obviously, like, getting into the playbook, just learning, like, different techniques and stuff like that has been pretty good. Like, working at both positions while also acclimating to the NFL. Yeah, uh, it's good. You know, it could be challenging at some times, just, you know, dealing with uh, moving positions and stuff like that. But it's good. It's something that um, I think is really beneficial. And then, um, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been pretty good just, just moving around a little bit. It's been good. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm someone that is uh, pretty versatile, and uh, I played you know across the line before, so uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's been uh, just a learning experience, so it's been good. Yeah, I played a little bit uh, in college uh, at the Senior Bowl. Yeah, yeah, at the Senior Bowl, played a little bit of guard um, in practice every once in a while, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was just something that just what the team needed. Like the team needed me to play tackle, so I played tackle. The team wanted to see me at guard. They saw me at guard, so it was really anything that the team needed. Yeah. Mentally and I guess also just physically when you're out there, what are some of the switches that you have to make when you're going from tackle to guard kind of? Yeah, really like landmarks. I think landmarks is a big thing because at tackle you have more space out there and at guard it's a lot more constricted. So your landmarks on the run in the pass have to be a little more tighter when you're playing that guard and you got to make sure that you don't drift and, you know, overset because then they could beat you inside. Um, obviously you're dealing with people that are a lot bigger at guard and inside. So it's dealing with that, just, just making sure you maintain your leverage and, and get lower and things like that. And then also um, guard, things happen a little faster because they're close to the ball and and uh, and things like that. So you know, at tackle, you get to create space and, and kind of see what's going on before it happens. So those are just kind of like the subtle differences that between guard and tackle. Yeah, yeah Cam's been great, man. He's been somebody that uh, I could really lean on as far as like if I need you know help with things and, and different techniques and, and stuff like that. He's always been like an open resource for me. So Cam, Cam's been great. And he's obviously doing a really good job on the field as well. Um, and not only Cam, but the other, you know, a bunch of the other dudes, Landon, you know, Jordan Lane, Jason, all, all those guys are, you know, really open open resources as far as like helping you with technique and things like that. So it's been good. I saw after one-on-ones yesterday, you were talking to Landon a little bit. What kinds of advice has he been able to share with you as you make, I don't know, or just getting comfortable in the offense? Yeah, really just kind of the stuff that he does and kind of what works for him and, and things like that. Because, you know, everybody, you know, all, every player is different. So, um, you know, he's obviously found a lot of things that work for him really, really well. And so he decided, I mean, he wants to, you know, share that with the younger dudes and stuff, and stuff like that and to help us find things that, you know, we could know how to do really, really well as well. So. Uh, I think that's that's really one of the main things you want to be as an old lineman as a finisher. I think that's kind of just the mindset of being you know physical, especially in the run game and and uh, and doing things like that. So I mean, I think that's that just comes natural with being an offensive lineman and, and wanting to be physical and uh, and obviously playing through the whistle. So that just comes with it. So, yeah. Yeah, really good. Like it's really. Really impressive, uh, really deep defensive line. Obviously, you have a really a lot of a lot of vets, but you also have a lot of like young dudes that are really talented as well. And uh, you know, obviously, it makes practice difficult on us, but it's a great thing to have you know players like that to go against the practice because it, it can only make you better. So. Yeah, uh, you know, Jalen Carter is a guy I've, I've gone against a lot. Uh, Fletch, Fletcher Cox, um, 
uh, uh, Street, you know, those those dudes. It's uh, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of mix of you know different dudes and a lot of like they're all different, but they're all really talented as well. So it's it's uh, it's challenging on the offensive line for sure. You got to go up against Nolan Smith a few times today as well at tackle. I guess what have you been able to learn about him and from him? As you yeah, Nolan's a really, really explosive player. He's really fast. So uh, when you're playing tackle against Nolan, not only Nolan but a lot of the guys on our team, like you have to uh, make sure that you get off the ball pretty fast because if you don't, they're gonna beat you around the edge. They're just that fast, you know. So it's just Nolan's a really explosive player. You always gotta. Make sure you stay, you know, on 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 your on your toes when you when you're going against a guy like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty challenging. Yeah. Inside, we're at the point of training camp. The guys are just telling us that you feel the competition heating up for starting spots and people to make this team. Have you felt that this week, or has that always kind of been? You? No, I mean, I always take the approach. I want to get better every day. That's kind of what my approach is, and I want to find ways to contribute to the team. So, I mean, I'm really. Just you know, making sure I get into the playbook and and understand what Coach Stout is teaching as far as the techniques and how we want to do each and everything. So my focus is really to help contribute and and uh, and get better every day. So yeah. As you're getting more comfortable at tackle, are there kind of like moments of frustration? How do you handle those moments of frustration when they do happen? As, as and kind of giving yourself some grace as you're. Yes, yeah, I mean obviously it's we strive for perfection, but we're not going to be perfect. So. Um, yeah, it can be frustrating at times when you don't, when you're not perfect. Um, it's, it's all about having like that next play mentality, knowing that you have another opportunity ahead of you. So uh, that's what I try to do. I try to just have the next play mentality. Try to, if it's a bad play, watch it away. If it's a good play, watch it away, and just get on to the next play. So. Thank you. Uh, thanks.